started uh, valid connections so again uh, we will have some more uh, things related with the valid connections so in previous lectures uh, we have seen about the but valid connections or but weld we have seen in previous lecture the uh, but weld connections in which uh, single u but weld we have seen double u but weld we have seen uh, single v but weld we have seen and double v Uh, but world we have already seen uh, the students uh, those who have not uh, seen the previous lectures uh, first see uh, the different types of but welded connections but welds or but welded connections uh, which we have uh, which i have uh, covered in previous lectures next uh, connection with that previous lectures uh, next uh, number 2 type of welds was fillet weld number number 2 type of uh, weld was fillet weld okay so we will solve or we will have the concept of fillet weld also okay so there are two concept uh, that is uh, welding uh, it has been or uh, welds it has been divided into two types one was uh, butt weld and the next is the fillet weld so fillet weld we will see uh, what are the types of fillet weld or what is the concept of fillet weld because the problems will be uh, related with this fillet weld fillet weld uh, concept is very very important Uh, because uh, in many cases uh, in many question papers this fillet weld it has been used uh, for solving the problems or uh, this fillet weld it has been asked in number of numericals so we will have uh, the concept of fillet weld uh, first i am reading what is fillet weld so it is a weld of appropriate triangles the triangular in sections uh, because the shape of this fillet weld it is in triangular shapes okay so it is a weld of approximately triangular in section jointly two surfaces and that means uh, we are uh, jointing two surfaces that means there are two perpendicular surfaces uh, while uh, using this fillet weld uh, this fillet weld be will be applied in such a way that it will cover the two uh, it will be applied in two perpendicular directions it will be applied in two perpendicular directions that means in horizontal as well as vertical directions okay which are perpendicular to each others that means we are providing fillet weld in this directions that means horizontal directions as well as vertical directions this that means uh, we are connecting we are applying this uh, in uh, in the horizontal as well as in vertical planes in two planes in two surfaces fillet weld the standard fillet weld is a weld when uh, when cross section is isolate isolate uh, isolates uh, triangles okay so it is in the same of uh, it is in the shape of the isosceles triangles it is in the shape of the isosceles triangles so isosceles triangle what is uh, says when the two sides of the triangle are same when the two sides of this isosceles triangle are same and the angles are 45 degrees what is isosceles triangle Uh, you have already uh, seen or you have already gone through the mathematics concepts of isosceles isosceles triangles uh, the angle uh, intermediate angle of the isosceles triangle is 45 degrees whereas the two sides of the isosceles triangle are same here this is one plate is there number two plate is there this uh, this uh, joint is called as the lap joint in which this uh, one steel plate it is connected uh, with two second steel plate with the help of welded connections so welded connection in this case uh, we are providing in this way in curve part is nothing but the welded connection these are the two sides of isosceles triangles the one side is there this side is one side and uh, the other side is vertical side that means we are providing the welded connections in this two perpendicular sides okay and this it is in the shape of this curve shape okay so these two sides are the sides of the isosceles triangle okay so when uh, when uh, we are jointing with uh, uh, with the help of this uh, there is fillet weld these are the number one plate is there number two plate is there so we are jointing at this top sides also and same way we, we are jointing at the bottom side also okay in this curve part okay. in this way so again uh, if it is uh, jointed with this horizontal this is one plate is there or uh, another two second is the uh, that is the vertical i section is there again we can jointed uh, joint this vertical these two portions uh, this is first perpendicular portion of this uh, bracket or i sections and next plate is horizontal section so in this way this is vertical section horizontal sections and it has been jointed with the help of this uh, fillet weld again we can provide fillet weld here also uh, in similar case it is it is provided at, uh, at this side also in this curve part okay so this is nothing but the fillet weld this is nothing but the fillet weld 
so this curve portions we have to find out or which uh, things it has been covered in this curve portions okay uh, again the concept of this curve portion is important these are the two sides of the isosceles triangle so this side is one side is uh, in this way the other side it is in this way these are the two sides of the isosceles triangle and this curve portion is nothing but the uh, the weld which we are uh, making okay this is nothing but the curve portion is nothing but the weld okay this curve portion is nothing but the weld so what this s stands for the sides of the uh, isosceles triangle or the sides of the weld or the sides where we are applying the welding these are the sides of the plates where we are applying the weldings so this is nothing but the size of weld so s is uh, uh, this two si are the sides of weld this is also one side of weld and this is also other side of the weld what about this t if we are if we have uh, drawn a perpendicular here so this uh, we are drawing a perpendicular here so this is nothing but the throat thickness throat thickness this is throat thickness of the weld so we have to find out throat thickness of the weld and we have to find out s that is the size of weld the size of weld are the two sides of the isosceles triangle and uh, uh, at the centers we are uh, uh, drawing a perpendicular uh, uh, after drawing a perpendicular this is nothing but the thickness of uh, that is the throat thickness okay uh, this uh, as i have already said the isosceles triangle is making an angle of 45 degrees so we will consider uh, how to find out this s or t what is the relationship of this s and t we will see so i am taking this smaller triangles only this smaller triangles i am taking this smaller triangles from this smaller triangles this side this side and this side this triangle in which the angle is 45 degrees this side is s and this side is t and it is having a perpendicular of 90 degrees okay so this smaller triangles we have taken s is nothing but the uh, side of the where we are applying the welding connections t is the thickness that is the throat thickness uh, perpendicular here the same perpendicular is there so for calculations or what is the relationship of t and s we will see okay. sin 45 degrees if we are uh, using the formula for sin 45 what is the formula for sin 45 opposite upon hypotenuse opposite in this case uh, 90 degrees this is hypotenuse uh, uh, 45 degrees opposite side is this side and this side is adjacent side okay so we can use the formula sin 45 why because we are uh, knowing the value of opposite t and s uh, so we are having this TNS. So we cannot use cos 45. We cannot uh, we cannot use tan 45. We can use sin 45 for simplifications. So sin 45 opposite uh, is T and uh, hypotenuse is S. So T upon S. Just there is a cross multiplication here. So T is equals to S into sin 45. What is sin 45 value? Uh, if we have calculated, uh, if we can calculate with the help of a calculator, uh, or uh, value of sin 45 is 0.707. So what is the thickness of throat or throat thickness the throat thickness is equals to point that is 0 0.707 s that means size of weld how to find out the thickness or the throat thickness or the thickness of weld so the formula used to find out the thickness of fillet weld okay the formula used to find out the thickness of fillet weld in previous problem or previ uh, previous lectures i have solved the problems related with the uh, butt weld in which we have calculated the thickness of butt weld with the formula again uh, we are in present case or in present uh, today's lectures we will find out we are finding out the thickness of fillet weld how to find out the thickness of fillet weld the so formula to use to, or to find out the thickness of the fillet weld so t is equals to 0 0.707 s t is equals to 0 0.707 s okay so this concept is very very simple again this p weld that is the strength of weld strength of fillet weld how to find out the strength of fillet weld or in other words the uh, design strength of fillet weld or in other words the load taken by the fillet weld load taken by the fillet weld how to find out the load taken by the fillet weld so it is just the multiplication of area into design stress of weld area into design stress of weld so this part is L into T is the area, FWD is the design stress of weld. Already we have seen in previous lecture also, the same formula we are using here. Okay? Only the concept of T we, have, uh, we are uh, solving or we are using the concept of T, that is the thickness of weld, fillet weld. So the area is equal to L into T and uh, design stress of fillet weld is FWD. So L is uh, there is the length of weld T we are putting this value as 0.707 S directly 
and FWD. How to find out the design strength of fillet weld? So L into L into 0.707 S into FWD. The same formula, the simple formula. Okay. So L into 0.707 S into FWD. So that is load taken by the fillet weld or the design strength of fillet weld. Design strength of the fillet weld. Okay, one and the same. Load taken by the fillet weld or design strength of the fillet weld. One and the same. The formula is used. Okay, just we have taken this L here. Again, uh, if we are finding out the design strength of fillet weld per mm, per mm, per mm, or per meters. So per meter, if we are converting this uh, formula into per meters, so just we are dividing with L. Okay, just we are dividing this with L. So L and L get cancelled. So 0.707 into S into FWD will be the design strength of fillet weld per mm design strength of fillet weld per mm or per meters one and the same so design strength agar nikalna hai per meters mein to we, we will use this formula same formula but divided by l so formula will be change small change will be there so 0.707 s into fwd uh, and l and l get cancels this is nothing but the per meters length per meter is divided by length so this l and l get cancel this l and this L will get cancelled. If we are uh, L and L get cancelled, the formula revised will be 0 0.707 into S FWD when when the word per mm is used. When the word per mm is not used, so then we will use this formula. Okay, if the word per mm or per meter word is used, the, then we will use this formula 0 0.707 S into FWD. Next is uh, two plates of size. I am solving the problem or I am reading the problem related with the fillet weld. The simple problems are there uh, in order to find out with the help of the fillet weld. So, two plates of size uh, 150 by 12 mm. That means the size of one uh, plate is 150. Length of one plate is 150. And what about this? Uh, 12 mm is the other, another side of this. Uh, uh, L into B. So, L into B is nothing but L into B. Okay, L into B. So two plates of size 150 by 12 mm and 100 mm, uh, 100 uh, by 10 mm. That means these are the two plates, and these two plates are jointed with the help of fillet weld. With the help of fillet weld. So two plates of size uh, 150 by 12 mm and 100 by 10 mm are connected by means of 8 mm size of weld. What is the size of weld? S. It has been given as 8 mm. S size of weld. It has been given as 8 mm. Provided on three sides as shown in figure, that means this uh, these are provided on three sides, one side, two side and third side. So these are provided on three sides. This joint is called as the left joint. You have to imagine how it has been prepared. So here there is one plate is there. Sorry. So here there is one plate is there and another plate it has been kept over it another plate it has been kept over it and it has been jointed with the help of welding so welding kaha pe hoga ek to it has been provided on this horizontal side vertical side and horizontal side that means it will be provided on three sides one side two side and three side okay. these are provided on three sides so what is the size of weld and so 8 mm size of weld is uh, it has been given uh, provided on three sides as shown in figure determine the strength of weld p p w uh, we have to find out or p weld we have to find out okay so determine the strength of weld uh, welded joint take overlap uh, take overlap in 120 mm that means the overlap joint is uh, uh, overlapping length of one plate over the other is this length is overlapping length is nothing but uh, this overlapping length is nothing but 120 it is nothing but 120 overlapping length is nothing but the 120 okay this overlapping length is nothing but the 120 and if you it has been given as 410 if it is not given then there is no confusion regarding this we have to use directly 410 newton per mm square which has been used in the design stress of well design stress of well 410 newton per mm square okay so there is a figure for here the the size of plate is 150 by 12 mm 12 mm is the thickness of plate 120 by 12 mm and another plate is 100 by 10 mm 10 mm is the thickness of this plate uh, 12 mm is the thickness of this plate 10 mm is the thickness of this plate, plate. and whereas uh, it has been jointed uh, overlapping length is 120 120 is the overlapping length how we have calculated 100 
because this 100 distance we have already uh, it has been given in the questions this distance is 100 it has been given in the question that is the size of plate is 100 so that means this width of plate is 100 so overall length of weld is 120 plus 100 plus 120 100 indirectly it has been given in uh, this that is 100 by 10 so indirectly 100 is given whereas 120 it has been mentioned in the question so 120 plus 120 are the two parallel sides or the overlapping sides of the plate so 120 plus 120 and 100 so third side is 100 in, uh, in this way 340 is the total length of weld 340 is the total length of weld what about the size of weld it has been given as 8 mm okay. so length of weld uh, length of weld we are directly adding all the sides uh, 120 plus 100 plus 120 120 plus 120 plus 100 it comes to be 340 the length of weld design stress in weld uh, we have to refer page number 79 of is 800 for finding out the design stress of weld so fwd is equals to fw divided by gamma mw uh, if we are uh, assuming as shop weld so we can use 1.25 for shop weld fu divided by uh, that is square root of 3 fu directly we have taken as 410 so after putting the values as uh, stress design stress of weld it comes to be 189.37 uh, newton per mm square what about the strength of welded uh, joint uh, that is the lab joint or uh, strength of welded joint so p is equal to the formula we are using what is the simple formula area into uh, area into stress uh, design stress of weld okay. this is nothing but the design stress of weld which I have to uh, take on from the is code uh, area area is nothing but l into t length of weld into t well, how to find out t t we are using the fillet weld for formula for t this is nothing but actually t t formula is 0 0.707 into s is nothing but t uh, f is uh, from page number 79 we have to refer this we have to take this from the page number 79 and length of weld so length of weld it, uh, we have taken as 340 okay so 0 0.707 into size of weld it has been given as 8 fwd just now we have calculated as 189.37 and uh, length of weld is addition of all overlapping length and the uh, 100 so 120 plus 120 plus 100 it comes to be 340 so uh, length uh, that is the strength of welded joint fillet joint is nothing but 364.17 uh, 10 to the power 3 it comes to be 364.17 kilo kilo newton kilo newton in this way uh, we have uh, calculated the design strength of fillet weld per meter we have not calculated we have just calculated the uh, design strength of fillet weld design strength of fillet weld next we are designing the fillet weld how to design the th fillet weld that means we have we have to calculate the thickness of fillet weld as a, as well as size of fillet weld okay we are designing concept is nothing but uh, uh, in this uh, size uh, thickness will not be given we will find out the thickness how to find out the thickness uh, we will see so determine the length of uh, determine the length of 10 mm size of fillet weld to connect two plates that means we have to find out length we have to find out length of weld lw we have to find out the length of weld lw so determine the length of 10 mm size uh, what is the size of fillet weld is given as s it has been given as size of fillet weld is given as 10 mm so 10 mm size of fillet weld of con connecting two plates the so size of plate is 180 by 10 mm uh, other size is 120 by 10 mm as shown in figure the ultimate load taken okay here the load is also given that means we have to bear this load on the uh, the load will be transferred to this uh, two plates and uh, the size of weld is uh, 10 mm we have to find out how much length will be provided in order to connect or in order to bear this load so how much length of weld to be provided in order to take the load of 300 kilo newton in order to take the load of 300 kilo newton we have to design or we have to find out the length of weld how much area will be covered in the length of, uh, in the sense other word uh, how much length of weld to be provided in order to take this load how much load uh, to be applied 300 kilo newton load 300 kilo newton load consider grade of uh, plate as fe410 it is given as fu is given as 410 if it is not given directly we can take fu as 410 uh, weight is to be uh, weld uh, weight is to be weld in the uh, workshop workshop in the sense uh, shop uh, field weld we have to use field weld workshop is nothing but uh, field weld okay? 
so in this way these are the two plates 180 by 10 mm is the first plate uh, another plate is nothing but 120 uh, 120 by uh, by 10 mm that means this size is 120 that means this size is 120 120 by 10 mm that means this size is 120 sorry size is 120 it has been mentioned in question so it is 120 this side is 180 180 by 10 mm what about the overlapping length the overlapping length is uh, we have to calculate the overlapping length that is x is equals to unknown this side uh, it has been given because this side uh, it is itself the side of the plate which has been mentioned but what is the overlapping length that means this length to be calculated so this length we are unknown there is uh, we have to find out this length uh, this length to be calculated okay this this length to be calculated so we are considering this as x we are considering this as x okay, x load taking is 10 we are considering this overlapping length as x so design stress of weld uh, again refer the page number 79 of is 800 2007 uh, FWD is FW divided by uh, FU divided by gamma uh, gamma M W di again divided by square root of 3 just we are pu uh, putting the values 189.37 Newton per mm square strength of weld per mm next is strength of weld per mm that means uh, we have to find out per mm length and then we will uh, multiply with length also or uh, we can uh, directly find out with the length also this uh, if we are skip uh, skipping this uh, that is step we can directly find out this we can use this directly formula also okay the length of weld is equal to 0.707 s lw into fw fwd 0.707 s into fwd into lw but this lw is unknown okay so this load is, it has been given as 310 to the power 3 0.707 s is it has been given as 8 uh, size of weld it has been given as 10 FWD we have calculated as 189 so this there is a cross multiplication is there so 300 divided by all these terms so LW length of weld is nothing but 224.07 okay but this 224.07 are the two uh, that is the parallel length that means we have to find out divided by x uh, this side is 224 is uh, two uh, there are two x is there okay there, there are two, two overlapping length is there Okay, so one overlapping length is uh, x is equals to divided by 2 so it comes to be near about uh, that is 112 112 so we can take 115 also or we can take in round figure as 120 also okay so what is the overlapping length 120 overlapping length length is 120 what about the total length the total length is nothing but uh, the size of plate uh, and 120 plus 120 in this way uh, we are providing uh, on three sides okay three sides we are providing on three sides so 2x plus 120 we are providing on three sides that means 2 into one side uh, is 112 uh, actually we have taken as 120 so 2 into 120 plus 120 how this 120 we have taken so this is size of plate already it has been given in uh, in the question this size of plate it has been mentioned that means this size of plate it has been mentioned okay this uh, 120 is mentioned so 120 2 into 120 plus 120 and this will be the total length of weld okay. so this in this way we have calculated the total uh, sides or total length of weld uh, in which uh, they, we have covered the two overlapping length and uh, uh, the one side is 120 just uh, the addition of all the three sides will be the total length of weld will be the total length of weld okay. Again, the same case, uh, design a welded connection for connecting two plates, uh, 200 mm by uh, 12 mm and 100 by 12 mm using 6 mm size. That means the side of 100 is there and the other side is 200. That means if we are connecting these two plates, this is one plate and this is another plate. Okay. Uh, so these two plates it has been connected uh, with the help of the fillet weld. That means what about this side? The, this side it is nothing but the... Uh, this side is nothing but the 100 and this side is 100 mm this side this side is nothing but the 100 mm the design a welded connection for connecting two plates uh, 200 by 12 mm and 100 by 12 mm using six so what is this six indicates this six indicates the size of weld s is equal to size of weld 
Uh, provide on three sides. Uh, design uh, street of plate is nothing but 600 uh, kilonewton. Design street of plate is nothing but the 600. Okay. Uh, sorry, 400 kilonewton. How much load it has been there? 400 kilonewton uh, load is there. Same same procedure is there. Uh, here only the size difference is there. Size of plates are different, uh, but the procedure is same. Okay. So first we are calculating the design stress in weld. Uh, the formula is same. 189. Uh, we are considering the shock weld. 1.25 gamma mW. Strength of weld. Uh, again the same formula is there. So we can find out the strength of weld per mm. Or uh, directly per, without per mm directly we can find out the strength of plate. The strength of plate is equal to 0.7 into 7 into S into FWD into LW. Directly we can use the formula. Okay. So in the uh, today's lectures we have gone through the fillet weld the problems related with the fillet weld. Uh, we have gone through the concept of fillet weld, how to find out the thickness of fillet weld. What is the formula used to find out the thickness of fillet weld? That is, uh, that is equal to 0 0.707 into S. That is S size of uh, fillet weld. Okay. With the help of this formula, uh, we can find out PWD. Uh, that is PW. Uh, that is uh, design strength of fillet weld. The formula is same. The formula is same. Okay. So here we will end this uh, this today's lectures related with the fillet weld. Okay. So thank you everyone. Thank you.